I've had one of those sales today that, unless you see it, you probably would never believe it. Welcome to the channel. First, we're going to kick off the video with some sales that we've had over the last few days in hopes that maybe you can find those things out when you're sourcing as well, because the amount of times I've watched the video and been like, well, I never knew that was worth that has been astronomical. And one of these things is going to shock you to the core. Well, probably not shock you to the core, but you'll be like, oh, well. We're going to dive straight in with the vintage sales at the moment. So the prices that I tell you these things sell for, they're all fee free. Minus, obviously, I've got to pay tax. We all pay tax. Well, most of us do. For this vintage 80s He-Man, he is the cap one. He's the thunder punch, they call him. So you put your caps in here. If I can open it up. Just like a cap gun and pop him in and then just turn and, well, it makes bangs. A five pound. For 30 pound now is the Adidas tracksuit jacket. You know, the blue one with the yellow detail that I picked up while I was chatting to Hawkins Emporium. I need to turn my fucking notifications off. Remember, every time. I never remember. The Adidas track jacket sold for £30. Which was cheap, to be fair. Probably could have got 40, 50 quid on eBay. And bought yesterday, listed in the afternoon, sold by the evening, are these Polo Ralph Lauren swim shorts. They were the ones I paid £6 for from the charity shop. They sold on Vinted. 18 quid. Lovely. Moving straight into the king that is eBay, we have sold some more of those bowls. This is the last set of the set of three that I paid £20 for. One went for one thirty, one went for one thirteen, and these have gone for 35 plus post for a grand total of £40 and a few pence. So obviously with that, not a lot of vintage, we've got to deduct fees and we've got to deduct postage. But I could throw these in the river and still make money. Deal or no deal, the electronic version does not command as much as the original board game, but I paid a pound from a car boot sale, I think, I believe. Sold for £15 plus post, £17.99, all in. All the contents inside are new and sealed. Another purchase now from my main man, Steve. The last time he bought something for me, I actually forgot to put his Instagram up here so you can go and check him out. People don't ask me for a plug, but I feel like it's nice to just show a little bit of appreciation because if you are building a social following, sometimes it can be helpful to have people just show where you are, show who you are and where you are. Not saying I'm a massive influencer, but every little helps. And speaking of every little helps, I paid 50 pence on this from a car boot sale. I think it sold for £8.99 all in. So after fees and postage, I'll make about four quid on that. Cheers, Steve. The last set of those bowls things now, I sold them for £13 plus postage. So 12... £15.99 in total. Oh, but fantastic name in the game. If you can find the big bowls as well of these. Oh, boy. A set of satellite speakers. We've got two of these small ones and one big centre speaker. Oh, I better show you and I. There we go. There's another one of these as well. They sold for a grand total of 35 48 They're Kenwood, by the way. And these are a really, really nice sale. So these are by a company called Applause. However, somebody's cut the tags off of them, which is very annoying. So it has affected the price slightly. But Applause, back in the day, used to make all of the good stuff. The Crash Bandicoot stuff. If you find the Crash Bandicoot stuff by Applause in this era, great money. I think I sold a bundle for 140 quid or something a little while ago. But these are... Spike and Reptile from Rugrats, like 97, 98, I think. Sold for £24.99 all in. Fantastic. These were part of a Facebook Marketplace pickup. God knows how long ago, six months, maybe a year, I picked up a bag from Facebook Marketplace of free plush. In there, I had the Crash Bandicoot stuff that I'd sold, these that I've sold, and I've sold off about 20 or 30 other ones individually. Great pickup. Kipling Ingrid Keyring. These are quite sought after, quite collectible. They are a thumb sucking orangutan gorilla type thing. Um, this one is Ingrid and they're by Kipling. This sold for £7.19 all in. Fantastic. Now, are you ready for this one? <sighs> so this next item was part of a press release kit that was released, I think, in a number of 100 or maybe even less than that. I haven't got the exact figures. It was released as a press release kit for the release of the game Mafia, the definitive collection. Now, obviously, we know what the Mafia is and we know what the Mafia entails and the sort of things that is associated with the Mafia. Pew pews, um, paracetamols, baking sugar, cigars, and 
saying hello to my little friend. But whatever, right? I'm actually, no, he was more of a mafia on his own, wasn't he, mister? But anyway, there was this big kit given out. So you got the game, you got all these promotional items, you got cigar cutters, obviously to do with the mafia. You got um, stickers, books, trays, all different types of things. Now the tray, I've got it packed up here. I'm not going to unpack it because actually, yeah, well, I'm going to wrap it again. This tray. So as you can see here, so hopefully you'll be able to see it amongst all my reflections, Mafia Definitive Edition. Now what this is, it's not an ashtray, okay? These are what's used for baking powder, okay? I used to live that life. But this is just a very small part of like a big set, big promotional box that I told you about. The box was lovely as well, big wooden, all bells and whistles. The whole set itself sells for, I think it was £3,000 I was seeing the solds for. They come up very rarely. Some geezer on YouTube made a video about it, speaking about how he saw it on eBay for the first time in ages, grabbed it. I think he paid like three and a half grand for it. But that tray is part of it. I have this listed for £300. I was getting no offers. I was getting loads of watches. And I was thinking, oh, maybe I'm just like tripping here. Because what I did, I tried to work out how much the set was worth. I divided it by the items, worked out. I just basically divided x by y and got my price of 300 pound then i reduced it to 200 and then they got an offer of 100 pound and i said no thank you sent a counter offer of 175 they counted at 150 and obviously i took it it's off to australia i can't even remember where i picked this up from probably just a grab from a car boot sale one day i've had this for a long time now i just got round to it it's in one of the boxes it's been in the box for probably a year but yeah 150 pound for a little brushed metal brass effect tray See if we can get a thumbnail. Can we get a thumbnail? I'm not just as a gangster. <laughs> but yeah, how cool is that? Little tray, 150 quid. We're not grumbling at that. I'm gonna get this lot packed up, but we're not done there. I'll come back to you. So my boxes have arrived. These were too big for those small little ones and my just undersized ones have arrived and I absolutely love them. There you go. Some boring box information for you. What an absolute beauty. It's 9.35 and the postage is done. So I'm going to go load the whip. Better get a phone call about my new car today. I swear to God. I do actually have one order left to do. It's the bowls, but they haven't got to go out until tomorrow. So that's fantastic. If I'm honest. Hold on a minute. You are never going to believe this. Look at the time. I'm going to screenshot the time and stuff. So I've left those till last. Thank God. I've just had a message from the customer telling me that they would like to cancel the order because it was an auto payment. Everybody always gives some kind of weird excuse, whatever. Um, but I saved them till last and I thought I'll do them tomorrow if I have to. And I'm so glad I did. 15 seconds before that, I could well have happened to go through the ag of cancelling labels and getting refunds and stuff. Blinder. I don't mind refunding that. People need to refund sometimes. That's absolutely okay. But look at the absolute timing of that. Fantastic. Just love the way the world works sometimes. Yeah, very lucky. So in yesterday's video, I asked people to write a comment in order to be entered into the next video draw that I do for that ball of nothing. And the entry was, I like the way you, and then creative license. Now, of course, there was a mix of comments, good, negative, banter, dry, whatever else, whatever else. And alongside of that, recently, I've had a few messages from people on Instagram asking me, how they deal with comments on YouTube and how they deal with negative interactions and how they deal with all these kinds of things that come along with putting yourself out there on social media, on YouTube, in the public's eye. So let me put something to you. Anybody who's starting out on YouTube or starting out putting themselves in the public on Instagram, wherever they're doing it, although you'd like to think people won't, people are and will be dicks towards you. And they have that right to that freedom, believe it or not. Obviously, there are levels that can be set. Racism, hate, violence. Even though I still get that, and people do still get that. But people have a right to comment whatever they want to comment underneath your stuff that you put into the public domain. You made that decision to put yourself out there. So for those of you that are struggling with how to deal with the negative side of social media or YouTube and all those types of things, I want you to try and think of this. I've got a mental exercise for you. Now, it's going to be a strange one, but bear with me. Close your eyes and imagine yourself as a bright, juicy, fresh orange. You're an orange. Now consider this. Not everybody likes oranges. But it doesn't mean you're flawed. 
It doesn't mean you're not ripe. It doesn't mean you are not the perfect, perfect orange. Stay with me. You're not flawed in any way. It just means that people have preferences. Some people will prefer the peach. Some people will prefer the apple. Some people will love the orange, but not everybody does. So try and consider that strange, but perfect analogy next time you're having these doubts about negativity that you're receiving on social media. Stay fruity. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.